as you can see, we're finished the shower. We just have to put a little sealer on it. We did it with all your help. Thanks, guys. Peanuts. I had peanuts. So we did the niche. 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 niche whatever we both call it. This two different things. We had zero experience walking into this shower. Zero. Well, I did the stuff at the house. Well, she did the stuff at the house, but I didn't have much experience uh, doing this. And he this. freaked out through the entire project. What? The, the entire one. Like I. You can see it all over my face, how stressed out it was. So can they do it? Like if someone has a, a DIY and they're a couple and they want to do a shower like this, can they do this? Can they pull it of off? Of course. It's not that. I mean, it's a lot of work. So labor-wise, it's hard. But liver, like skills, it is hard as well. If you've, if you've not done DIY stuff before. Yeah. you gotta be, um, you got to be a little bit with your hands. I mean, a you got to be. I mean, you got to know what you're doing DIY-wise. Um... But it's not that overly hard. It's not like something that nobody, you know, you can do it. You definitely, it can be done. We still got to wipe it down just to get the grime off it one more time before we put the sealer on it. And it definitely, you know, like a professional, it would probably take them maybe like two days or three days. It took us an entire week to get it, it done. It took three or four days for a professional. Yeah. I mean, it took us an entire week to get it done. Week and a half. We had to build a niche. We had to put all the, the drywall. It's a week and a half. Well, probably about a week and a half because we had to do the we had to build the floor up. Custom dam. Um, we did the the dam here, like Ross was talking about. We had the rubber liner that we had to put in there. We had to build all that up. Um, we had to make sure that the pitch was correct. You want to show them some? Uh, uh, show them some close ups. Okay, I'm nervous about hey, this. Don't be nervous. It's good close ups. <laughs> Okay, so there's obviously imperfections in our work. We are not, you know, professionals, but it is, you know, it is what it is, and I think we did an overall, you know, pretty good job, you know? And I would do something, and Ross would come behind me and say, hey, this isn't right, or he would do something, and I'd come behind him and say, hey, this isn't right. Um, the grout was not hard and everybody was nervous about that or was like oh grab's the hardest part it's not the hardest part but it is the hardest part to clean up it's not the hardest part to put on but it's the hardest part to clean up because as i'm standing here i keep like my eye keeps finding certain areas that i have to go and clean up with the the um screwdriver and i'm starting to like ah so ross put this in today and that wasn't that hard for him to do once he figured out how to put the handle on, we were a-okay with that. A couple of times while he was putting it on, he um, almost turned it on. <laughs> so in a couple, once the floor dries, when you're picking your grout color, um, keep in mind that it is going to dry a lighter color than what you have. So always look on the package and kind of put your tile up and can, you want to go with something that's going to accent your tile. This is bigger than the RV. <laughs> it is bigger than the RV because, I mean, we both take showers in the RV too, but this is bigger and we both have room. And we could probably put the girls in here with us and take a just fine shower. And I'm now going to have to go back with a screwdriver because I see some places that have to be fixed before we seal it. So we got this dam all straightened down here. Um, this is my favorite part. I thought this was going to come out bad. A lot of guys on YouTube said you're going to slip in this glass. But you don't, you, you don't even step on this. You step over here, and this right here is rough. This, this is part of the edge. This is part of the dam right here. So you step on this, and it holds you. The other good thing about the sealer is that we're going to seal the tiles and everything. Um, it does tell us to do a test patch first. So we're going to do that first. Um, but once we put the sealer on, it will leave like a, not a gritty finish, but kind of like a grippy finish on it. So if we do step on that, little lip thing matted, right? or whatever it is it'll be a matted finish so that way you know nobody will slip and bust their butt Scratch the glass tile with a screwdriver, so be careful, Fred. 
So overall, we're pretty happy, and yes, you can do it yourself. Give yourself about two weeks solid from head, all the way from scratch. All the way, I'm talking from the two by fours. Give yourself two weeks, and you can do it a DIY, no problem. Um, just get, if, if walk up, rush. yeah, walk don't away. Rush. If you get aggravated, walk away. Go back to it. That's what we did. But it came Big out. Break. It came out a million times better than I thought. And we also did like we would work until we had no more thin set or no more grout. Yeah. And then we would take a break for that day. That's, so that's when you take your breaks, take your lunch break. You wait until you run out of thin set of the grout so it doesn't dry. Then you rinse the pan out, rinse all your tools out, go eat lunch, come back, do another batch. And then work until you run out, and then that's it for the day. So that way you don't kind of, you don't, you know, run out of your thin set, number one. You don't waste it. Right, you're not wasting stuff. And then two, you're not really, I mean, it kicks your butt. <laughs> Either well, way, it kicks your butt because these tiles are heavy. They're heavy. If you're a woman, they're heavier than they're, they're porcelain, so they're hard to cut. A little bit because they're they're porcelain they're tough these are the porcelain shower so it's, this, it's not the best you can get granite it's the best right mm -hmm. but or marble or something granite i think we didn't want to do granite That's and i didn't want to do marble because i was afraid of it. somebody slipping and busting i don't like the granite marble look i like this kind of look it's like i a, like granite granite i don't really like marble so much imagine cutting granite well your saw can do it the saw can do it i guess i cut glass like butter so but get get yourself a, a, a saw a big saw you know what we should do we should do all these videos all into one. So we have some imperfections in this, and when we put the grout on, you can't even see the imperfections. I mean, it's like, don't worry if you're a little bit off, a little bit. Don't go crazy and cut four or five tiles if you're a little bit off. Leave the second tile in the second cut. Usually it's okay, because we have a couple of imperfections. You can't see them, though. We can't even see them. With the grout, grout hides everything. It gives you character. It gives it character, too. So, And just one more quick thing. I want to show you guys you'll get a kick out of this. This is the screwdriver she's been using. It was a flathead screwdriver before the scraping. This is a big heavy duty screwdriver, guys. It's now the official tile grouter remover. Well, Heather's at the dentist doing another root canal. Woo wee, I'd rather do a shower than a root canal. I got the fan going here. I just sealed everything. I mean, sealed it. So, it's pretty cool now. I mean, I loaded the sealer up, so. I put some high-end silicone right here. And up there, I mean, real high end. I didn't glob it and make a mess. Um, it's got like a mat, matted, matted finish, that uh, sealer. But hey, look at that, guys. Yes, I did. I put it at a slight angle so it won't get puddled. Um, I don't know if I was supposed to cut the tile that much around it, but it still looks okay. That was a bear to cut, though, I'll tell you that. That was not fun. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Please like and share this video. We work our butts off.